My name is Giuseppe Panizzi, and I come from Monterey, California. My grandfather started trawling in the early 1900s out of Monterey and San Francisco. Um, back then, it was a little different because large companies owned the boats, they owned the nets, and you just went to work for a company. Early on in my dad's fishing career, him and my grandfather purchased a boat called the San Giovanni One, which is still in Monterey Bay today. I started fishing off the coast of California whenever I was about seven years old with my dad. You know, whether I was on the boat fishing in the summer, or whether I was cutting the fish at my dad's fish plant, I was always knee deep in everything that was going on and what was being brought in, and you get to see the different cycles. When I was 15 years old, me and my brothers started running my dad's uh, smaller 64-foot trawler. And it was pretty unique because it, I got to witness different currents bringing in different types of fish. You see all these changes that constantly occur. After that, me and my brothers, we bought a boat in, in Seattle, and we went to the Bering Sea and we were fishing for codfish, yellowfin sole, Alaska place. And then I started fishing on factory trawlers. Um, I did that for five years. I went to the East Coast and I bought a big steel boat. And then in 2000, I sold that boat and I bought the Pioneer. You know, it's an older boat with all this new technology in it. It's just such a great fit. The size of the boat is just right for what we're doing. I mean, for the amount of fish that we're catching and the days at sea and the overhead, it's really, it's a perfect balance for me. It seems to be the right boat for the coast because I'm only burning half the fuel that we were with all the new tier two and tier three engines. These new electronics that we have, we have chirp transducers, we have broadband electronics, and we have catch indicators on, on the trawl so there's lots of sensors so that when the net loads up, there's a little trigger that's pulled and it sends a signal to the wheelhouse and it tells me that we have uh, 5,000 pounds of fish or 6,000 pounds of fish in the caught end. And then at that point, we stop what we haul back. And on top of everything, actually having video cameras to watch the trawls underwater, to watch the fish entering the bag. We can meter an area and we could take a really good look at it and we could make decisions on where we're gonna set the net now that we were never able to make before. I'm really proud of the refrigeration system that we've installed in the Pioneer. You know, we have 30 inches of insulation inside of a fiberglass hatch. We are now maintaining a solid 35 degrees constantly throughout the entire trip. Together with the insulation, the ice, and the refrigeration, we are now bringing in the absolute best fish that we have ever seen. Uh, trawling is kind of unique off the coast because we get such a large variety of rockfish. We get about 60 different types of sebaceous rockfish, of which, you know, we target primarily chili pepper rockfish. We catch channel rock, sable fish, lingcod, boccaccio, dover sole. It's, it's one of the only ways of catching bottom fish. I mean, you know, to be able to go out fishing and harvesting rockfish and flatfish, it's, it's, um, it's really the only efficient way of doing it. And when we take our history, all the things that my grandfather taught my dad and my dad taught us, and you put it together with these new electronics, um, we are able now to distinguish which species of fish we are looking at under the boat. It's kind of a milestone in my career, how we're able to, to target species now and fish so clean. Working in partnerships with the Environmental Defense Fund, you know, We've begun to develop and implement trawl gear that barely touches the seafloor and it works much more precise in the ocean. Light touch trawling is, is it's a great concept and we continue to improve on what we've already learned. Uh, we've changed the way that we build our caught ends, we've changed the way that we put the nets together, we've taken all the weight off the nets. We've actually been able to reduce our bottom contact by about 95%, which is incredible. The quality of the fish is better. It's much more sustainable. We're, all these juvenile fish now are escaping the net really easy. I mean, it, it's, it was amazing to me to see that we did not have a discard problem anymore. I mean, it was, it was gone. It, it all works together. I mean, it really does. It's just the mentality. Everything that we're doing from beginning to end here, you know, is it's truly revolutionary as far as, you know, how this was done before.
and the quality of the fish is just through the roof. It, it makes all the difference in the world. We're bringing product to the dock that's got a biting cold to it, and with that, we're able to lock the flavor into the fish. You know, if you buy fish from, from the Pioneer, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will have a totally different experience than you've ever had in your life because you will actually be able to taste something for the first time that is so delicious that people that even that don't even like seafood all of a sudden become seafood lovers and they keep coming back time and time again and and you know it's a great it's a great thing because you build a lot of friendships that way too because now all of a sudden you know other people appreciate things that they see it the way you do and be able to enjoy it the way we do.